What's going on, you two bitch, ya boy? Cam ATL, and welcome back to another MLB DFS video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section and enter your name into the $50 giveaway I do every single week on this channel. The winner of last week's $50 giveaway was posted on my first video I did this morning, the player props video. Go check that out. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Greenlightdfs.com. Big week ahead, baby. I'm excited for this week, man. It's like the last week before All-Star break, I believe. I believe the All-Star break starts like on the 9th or 10th or something like that. So final week before All-Star break. Then we get a couple days off to kind of relax, refresh, come back in and smash the rest of the season leading into NFL. All that, man, we're 66 days from football starting. Um, early bird season long specials for NFL will be, will be put up. I don't know, maybe a month or so, in, in about a month or so, maybe I'll start announcing those. Uh, if you guys played NFL with us at all last year, man, it was my biggest NFL season I've ever had. I believe there was three slates out of the entire season that we lost, main slates. Um, and showdowns, we had multiple near takedowns. It was just an overall amazing year, man. I, I adjusted my process just slightly. Um, and really saw big, big returns from it. So it was an amazing, amazing season. Um, NFL's always an amazing season. Um, yeah, it's one of those sports where it's like, I've been watching NFL so long, and I'm sure most of you have as well. Like, I don't really have to. Like, I still do. I still do the research and stuff just to keep up with target shares and all that stuff. But like, I naturally know football so well that like it's one of those sports where I can really like you know if I wanted to legitimately I could just wake up Sunday morning and put it together like that you know what I mean but for me I like to know that I put a ton of research and work into it before the week comes up that way when you know no matter what happens I can feel great about it you know what I mean at the end of the day if I just throw something together on a Sunday just off gut alone I'm not doing enough you know what I'm saying I'm not putting enough work in for my people and as you guys know at Greenlight DFS the main benefit is that you get to go hang out with your kids. You get to go, you know, do your normal job. Don't have to worry about it. All that stuff. You could do your normal life while I'm over here grinding hard, um, making sure that we're in the most optimal spot every day. So, um, but anyway, football in 66 days. Incredibly excited about that. Then basketball starts soon after that. So just great things coming. Hopefully everybody's having an amazing summer so far. Uh, let's get straight into baseball for today. We got a six-game slate, which are always really, really nice ones because, you know, there's not a whole lot of people you got to lock into. You really just lock into six games, and you can really hone down on who really is your favorite for the day. Now, starting off, first and foremost, Minnesota's probably my favorite overall offense today, not just because of the total, but because of the prices. Like, these guys are a high total, yes, but also the prices on these guys are ridiculous. It is crazy the prices we have um, for these Minnesota bats in such a high total. So first and foremost, Joe Ryan, to me, is the best pitching option. I feel like he's pretty damn safe to get the win um, and also have a solid game against Kansas City, a team that strikes out a good bit at home in Minnesota. And then we have Blake Snell at home in San Diego going against the Angels. Um, lefty here that Blake Snell has just been fantastic. Like for Blake Snell to be at 8-6, man, come on. Blake Snell talent level is ridiculous. He's at home in San Diego. He has been having a fantastic season. Over the last like seven games or so, he's just been legit. Dude is like amazing right now. So got to rock with Blake Snell and Joe Ryan as my two pitchers. As you guys know, get your pitching right. Figure your hitters out next. And with a team like Minnesota, with the prices they have on that offense um, that you're able to get a, a, a ex exposure with, um, it's a fantastic spot. Um, you know, to be able to get, honestly, any pitchers you want. We have value bats galore, so whatever you want. When it comes to the hitters, all right, we have Byron Buxton at the very, like, one of the very top favorite plays for me. Obviously, Tatis is going to be up there as well. Now, immediately, I can tell you, most likely, that if you fade Minnesota, you will be getting different today. The problem is, is that there's so many solid, cheap value guys in Minnesota, like, I am completely supportive of like grabbing those value guys from Minnesota like and getting different on the spend-ups if you want to. But it's just so hard today to fade certain spots. So just don't overthink it. Byron Buxton, Carlos Correa, fantastic spots for these guys, man. All right. Um, I'm going to side with Byron Buxton solely on the fact between him and Correa, if I have to pick one, I'm trying to find like one spend-up that I, that I want to kind of put in the video. 
Love the price of Carlos Correa at only 4-5. Byron Buxton at low 5K is, is fantastic too. Now, the reason I side with Buxton as the more guy, the main guy that I want to side with, obviously roster construction is going to come into account too as more time goes on and as more studying is going on, as official lineups drop, and you're able to see like what kind of value we have at different positions. That'll depend as well. Like if we have amazing outfield value, then maybe you don't spend up for Byron Buxton out there and maybe you spend for a shortstop because there's no value there or something like that. Um, so, but for me, when having to choose between the two, if I just have to choose between the two, I'm going to side Buxton because of the upside. Um, I think Buxton has double dong potential. He's got two home run upside, um, in a spot like this and obviously could break the slate. Carlos Correa, sure he could do it too, but he's going to do it a much lower probability than Byron Buxton has of doing it. So Byron Buxton's my spend up guy that I'm going to start with. And he's only 5'2". Fantastic spot for him. Love him today. Another guy, double dong upside, who just they keep mispricing is Jack Sawinski. I'm going to continue going Jack Sawinski as long as he's in those low 3K ranges. He's going to bat in the heart of this order. He's going up against uh, Grove for the Dodgers, who really struggles versus lefties. The lefties of Pittsburgh is a very interesting stack as well today. Um, very, very interesting stack. Um, so Jack Sawinski, though, at only 3-3, we know the type of power he possesses. He really gets the barrel on, of the bat on the ball um, a lot. His barrel percent is high. Uh, he hits the ball very flush a lot. Um, and facing a guy who really struggles versus lefties with Jack Sawinski's power, um, this could be a huge game for him. So as long as Jack Sawinski is this ch- cheap, a guy who could legitimately hit two home runs in a game, I'm all for that, okay? Jack Sawinski's a fantastic bat. Now, when it comes to value, there's a lot of different options. Um, I'm siding with Donovan Solano for now, um, just because Solano's just very, very consistent. At 2.5, he's been very, very consistent. He has over a 200 ISO versus the main. Like, so if you look at, if you break it down a little bit more, I've done slight research on it, plus I kind of know the spot here. Cox throws predominantly fastballs, which most pitchers in the league are going to throw predominantly fastballs, but some some have like a cutter as their number one pitch, stuff like that. Well, Cox is going to throw predominantly fastballs, okay? Solano has been doing a very, very good job at hitting fastballs. He's got over a 200 ISO versus that, so he's also got the power potential. Um, He's really good at getting on base. Uh, At 2-5, he's just a really solid option for a guy who should be batting in the heart of the order. You know, he might be batting second or so, so... Fantastic spot for Solano here, and definitely want a piece of him, especially if if he's at the top of the lineup. You also have guys like Kyle Farmer and stuff like that. Another benefit for Solano is Cox also likes to throw change up. That's like his next go-to pitch. Like he throws the fastball, then he tries to change that timing up on a batter and throw a change up. If he throws the change up, Solano also hits that ball very well as well. So it's going to be very hard for Cox to be able to trick Solano too much here. To be able to, you know, get anything by him, I think Solano is a good bet to be a safe bet at 2-5. So, um, and that's one of the value plays I like and should be batting high in this order as well. So that's it for the high five. We've got Joe Ryan, Blake Snell, Solano, Buxton, and Sawinski as the core that we're going with here. As you guys know, I don't like to just stuff in all spend up guys. I like to really give you guys plenty of money to work with and kind of leave some openings there um, to be able to, you know, have some flexibility as well. If you want to save some money off Byron Buxton, you can go Carlos Correa, perfectly fine. Um, Kyle Farmer's another value for Minnesota. Like, there's just a lot, a lot of value on Minnesota. It's going to be very hard to to fade any Minnesota with their prices today. Um, but you know, as you guys know in baseball, I recommend you guys try to find differential a way to be different anytime you can, for sure. All right, um, let's take a look at FanDuel. We, we rarely, like, go over and look at FanDuel. Let's take a look at what we got here. So Joe Ryan's so obviously the pitcher for me. Um, he's only 9-9 comparative to Blake Snell at 10-9 over here. Um, the pricing is just really, really crazy there. So Joe Ryan at 9-9 is fantastic. I'm going to start with him in my lineups. That's where I'm starting. Um, and then after that, uh, you have different options that you could go with. First of all, let's check on our main bats that we're interested in today. Byron Buxton's only 3-1. Let's lock that in. That's fantastic. What is Correa today? 2-9. So their prices are much closer on FanDuel than they are over on DK. So Buxton's even more of a lock over here on FanDuel than he is over on DraftKings. All right? So start your lineups uh, uh, off with Byron Buxton um, because that's just, yeah, fantastic spots spot there um, for him over here as value for sure. All right? Um, what else? Let's check other positions. Let's let's sort point per salary and kind of get an easy idea of where the value's at. Now, if Jose Aran- uh, Miranda's in the starting lineup, 
This is also fantastic. Righty lefty matchup. Very interesting at only 2K. So pay attention to that. Make sure if he's in the lineup or not. But great value. I, I'm not sure. Let me see. What is he over here on DK? Jose Miranda's 3K over here. So yeah, value on FanDuel is much better than over on DK. Um, so sorting back point per salary. Jack Sawinski. Yes, please. At 2-9. Wow. That's wild uh, to have Jack Sawinski at 2-9. Um, then you have Giancarlo Stanton. Um, Stanton's very, very interesting as well over here. He's only 3K over here on DK. He's 4-5. Um, great spot for him. Torres is un like only 2-8. There's some Minnesota that's definitely interesting. We talked about Kyle Farmer um, over on DK. He's only 2-3 over here as well. So he's value on both sides. Um, Ryan O'Hearn can hit the ball hard. We know that. Josh Bell for Cleveland. There's definitely some Cleveland that I have interest in today as well. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to have an issue on value, first off. So let's just look at what we're looking at like when it comes to spend-ups. I really like Stanton. I'm going to rock Stanton as well. Um, another guy that I really, really like because we know the type of upside he possesses with this matchup against Wells. Um, the wind's expected to blow out to left, which is great for righties as well. Um, Wells can give up some power to righties, so Giancarlo Stanton's in a great spot there. Um, Carlos Correa, obviously, is another fantastic option. You're really going to have to spend over here for any Atlanta. Um, so Brian Reynolds will be interesting. I talked about over on DK a minute ago how bad Grove is versus lefties. Definitely grabbing any lefties. Reynolds should be back in the lineup, I believe, today. But that's about it, man. That's kind of the core that you want to stick, uh, like start with. Joe Ryan, Byron Buxton, Jack Sawinski, and Giancarlo Stanton feel mispriced over here. And definitely spots that you need to uh, go ahead and get involved in. All right. Um, we have plenty of value over there. So FanDuel should be a banger today. Great spot for FanDuel. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me as always, man. Have an amazing day. Um, good luck. Hit up greenlightdfs.com, baby. Let's get it. Um, back to day one of the Prize Picks Ladder Challenge at Greenlight DFS, seeing that they wanted to pull pe uh, David Peterson at 61 pitches yesterday. We would have easily swept once again on day two, easily been at day three today, but it is what it is, man. You can't really control what these managers decide to do. I don't know if Peterson maybe strained something and maybe was hurt, and that's why. I don't know 100%, but that was frustrating for sure. But uh, back to day one of the Price Fix Ladder Challenge, expecting a big week this week leading into All-Star break. So let's get it. Thank you guys for joining me as always, and I'm out. Peace.